of the British Isles. And for many of us, as you work through the course of the day, and particularly into tomorrow, it will turn cold behind the weather system. Still some of that cloud to deal with, and even a few spots of light rain and drizzle. Maybe a few wintry showers. You can see the sheet of cloud in place. Notice this little line in the cloud there, the uh, white a bit there. A weather front of sorts easing its way south. So we're into the brighter skies across parts of uh, Scotland. Even a few wintry showers to the far north. And notice the temperatures here. Uh, that bit cooler than, say, you were compared to yesterday. For parts of northern England down to the Midlands, the patchy bits of blue. Uh, some wet weather here and there. So if you are going to be out and about, you'll uh, probably see that. But temperatures are not as chilly as further north. Seven, say, for London. Come along the south coast, uh, some cloud uh, not quite to the wet weather. That is still to the north, say, over parts of southwest England. And you might even see the odd little bit of brightness just sort of peeking about here and there. But otherwise, keeping the, uh, a sheet of cloud. West parts of Wales, maybe some of that brightness. But also, you'll see a few spots of rain. As we work north to Northern Ireland, the uh, cloud and the wet weather slowly easing away. And uh, I think for the Premiership matches, you might just see the odd spot of rain, perhaps, say, for the West Brom match elsewhere. I think we'll uh, keep some cloud in place. And, of course, all the coverage for these matches on the BBC. But further north for the SPL, I think brighter skies here might even see perhaps a wintry shower, say, for the uh, Aberdeen match in northeastern parts of Scotland. Coverage as well for these matches on the BBC. Let's work through the night. We push our weather system away and there might even be a few wintry showers. Western parts of the Midlands, East Wales, as what's left of our weather front ease away. You notice this area of blue. That's the clearer skies and temperatures don't hang about. So another return of frost to many areas where you see the blue, maybe further south and west, keeping that cloud so you stay just above. So Look at those temperatures there, minus 5, minus 6 as we start Sunday. And a nice little ridge of high pressure builds in. So with that, this is the day where we sort of step to the outside with the sunglasses. Fairly pleasant. There'll be some cloud floating about, some of it across southwestern areas. Little weather system here might get a few spots of rain by the end of the day. But it'll be the temperatures you'll notice the difference. 2, 3, 4, maybe 5. That's about it. And we work through the night. Guess what's going on again? The fifth test down under. There could be some showers for that, in fact, at Sydney. Of course, all the coverage for that will be on the uh, BBC. And as we head towards Monday, we'll have these showers to the south and the west. Some of these could be wintry as they just sort of ease their way into southwestern areas. Elsewhere, it's fine, it's dry. Another weather system creeping into the north and the west. And, of course, if you want to keep up to date with the weather anytime, go online. That's the weather for now.